Hello everybody, Gliderman here. So today I'm going to be showing you guys a little trick for some pretty realistic skies uh, in the Cycles Render Engine. And this is kind of a trick that I've uh, kind of worked to perfect uh, over time uh, because I needed a good realistic looking sky. So what we're first going to do is we're going to switch to the Cycles Render Engine. Uh, we're going to select this uh, lamp here. I'm just going to drag this side panel over so that we can have a little bit more room. We're going to switch to this tab here, which will allow us controls on our lamp. Uh, we're just going to take a look at the preview real quick. And we're going to switch this to sun. And then uh, we're going to change its color. So uh, I think we actually want to use nodes. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so it's an intuitive admit. And then the color is we're going to change the blue to three or 0.318. There we go. And then uh, what we're also going to do is we're going to crank up uh, the strength to 4.5. And uh, let's just do a little bit of setting up on the scene. So if we just shift tab to uh, go into snap mode, uh, let's just move that so that it's resting flat on the plane. And then we're gonna add another plane and we'll just scale that by 10. So we've got a nice looking plane. If we render that real quick, you can see everything is yellow, which is due to our sun lamp. But never fear, we're gonna fix that because you also uh, probably noticed in the background here there's kind of that stupid grayness, and that's usually not very pretty. As you can see, if we just pop to the world here and then we preview that, it's just nastiness. We don't want that. Let's fix that. So we're going to click Use Nodes. We're going to leave the surface at background. The color, we're going to change to a hue saturation value. And then its color that it uses there, we're going to change to a sky texture. And you can see immediately this is looking better. However, there's some values that we need to change in this. So uh, first we're going to change this to uh, Prethem. I think that's how you'd say that. You can see uh, it's a little bit more, you know, daytime. Where you got the uh, blue up at the top and then uh, kind of fading to white. Uh, however, we need to change this value to 1.3 so that this is uh, much more white. And then uh, we're going to leave this at 2.2. And now, uh, because this is the background, it's also going to shine the blue on the scene. And that will go perfectly with our yellow. And, okay, well, all of the materials here are white, but you can see uh, it balances out quite nicely and gives a blue uh, background uh, reflection on the object. So uh, let's just give the materials a little bit of a different color, just so that, you know, we can actually see them. Let's go with like a dark green uh, on that. And uh, for the viewport color, we'll, uh, we'll just drag and drop that color onto there. Uh, let's give that a quick render and see that. So you can see uh, the green looks fairly nice there. And then we're gonna go to the cube. We're gonna say use nodes uh, and we'll make that cube. Let's make it orange. And then we're gonna just drop that color onto there and we can give that a quick render. And you can see uh, that's kind of what it looks like. So uh, it's a very nice uh, color and when you're using it for animations, if we just pop into uh, rendered mode, let me just switch to using the GPU real quick for the render. So if we just pop into rendered, you can see uh, we've got this nice sky up here. Uh, and then it looks like it also has a sun uh, built into it there. So uh, there's a, it can really make your scene look quite nice. And uh, that's what I use uh, quite often as well. And of course, uh, you can see our sun lamp. While that yellow appeared to be very yellow originally with that blue, it's perfectly uh, compensated. And actually, uh, I think that sun lamp, uh, especially in regards to this, the sun lamp I think is at an angle and uh, that is not quite proper. However, what you, what's pretty cool is uh, this will control the angle of the sun, and as you can see, as I'm dragging this around, it's uh, moving the sun around. Uh, what you can do is you can press I, and you can animate that. So that's animated there, and then let's just say I dragged it, I think this sun lamp's like from somewhere over there. I can animate that again, and then if we just uh, go back here, uh, we can play through 
a little bit and you can see the sun moves uh, but that's just like a side thing and then that can uh, partially affect uh, the white and almost purpley color there but yeah uh, I think this is a pretty cool thing and I hope you guys thought that this was useful uh, so if you thought it was maybe consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video for more tutorials. Thanks very much for watching. Bye!